Hey everyone, it's Oi here, and before we get started, I uh, apologize for any background noise, but there's people working outside. Uh, also, I've never done a video like this before. Uh, there's just going to be a black screen. Uh, this video is unscripted. Um, I also don't want to wear my fursuit head because this is quite a serious video and the situation is not furry related at all. So just didn't want, didn't feel like uh, using my fursuit head. And also, uh, I don't want to use my character Fanon or Ryu Goku anymore. So more about that a bit later. But the reason why I'm making this video is to announce that I'm no longer going to play Yandere Simulator. There will be no future Yan Sim content because I don't want to keep playing this game after what the developer did. And um, yeah, there's lots of evidence out there. And uh, I already made a community post about this uh, a few days ago. So I'm going to link that in the description as well as some other videos discussing uh, the, the situation and some other links as well uh, that explain the situation so much better than I ever could. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video to take a moment uh, to say that I'm also going to change my channel name. Uh, I'm no, I don't want to be known as Oyuryu Goku anymore. Uh, I'm going to be Oi Beneviento. Um, which is the Beneviento is the last name of uh, my favorite Resident Evil village character and comfort character and her name is Donna Beneviento so yeah from this point forward Oi is gonna be like a full 100% like Fan and Oi is gonna be a completely 100% Resident Evil village OC and all the Yansim stuff is gonna be you know, um, rewritten. Uh, I just don't want to associate myself and my especially, I just don't want to associate uh, my characters and myself uh, with this game anymore. And yeah, I'm gonna do something completely original with them, like changing their names, their backstories, and stuff, uh, which means I'm also canceling for Dare Simulator, aka my. Um, Yansim Furry Owl. I'm not gonna continue that. I'm gonna turn everyone from that Owl AU into um, Resident Evil OCs. I'm gonna change my channel name to Oi the Dragon. And uh, I'm probably gonna update, uh, upload a uh, cha new channel trailer. Uh, basically explaining more in detail what you can expect from the future of this channel and on this channel. Uh, I will say that I'm probably just gonna be a uh, furry YouTuber from now on, uploading mainly furry content along with animal videos like nature videos and stuff. Um, but yeah, from now on, no more Yan Sim. I don't want my characters to be associated with Yan Sim anymore. Uh, I don't support Yandere Dev anymore. Uh, now I will also explain why I stuck around for so long like you uh, everyone probably knows that I used to be one of his uh, biggest fans and supporters and I used to be one uh, one of Yandere simulators biggest fans like a die-hard fan and um, I don't think that's a surprise to anyone but I also used to white knight him a lot you know, just support him wherever I go. And you're probably wondering, well, Oi, why did you stick around for so long? Like, you know. And the reason is because uh, a few years ago, like, I myself was a lot more immature than I am now. Uh, sorry if I sound weird. Uh, my mouth is a little dry. I'm a bit nervous. Like I said, never done a video like this before. And, uh, yeah. But um, I was a lot more immature, toxic, cringy, and um, yeah, I kind of looked up to him, to be honest. And I did see him as a friend, and uh, deep down I just hoped that there was some good in him, and that he uh, would change eventually. But obviously we know that that's not the case. 
and uh, about a year ago I decided to 100% stop supporting him but I never spoke out about that publicly publicly because uh, I was afraid uh, because he and his team slash his moderators and stuff uh, those people they everyone knew that I was his biggest uh, f fan and supporter or one of his biggest fans and supporters uh, like basically they all knew oi they all knew fan and oi and I was scared to speak up because uh, I was afraid what they would say or do to me if they ever found out that I no longer supported him and because I've seen them say stuff to people who don't support him or them before and yeah it's not very pleasant sometimes uh, so that was why I was genuinely afraid and this uh, video took quite a bit of guts honestly I was really nervous and anxious before starting this recording I already did several takes as well because like I kept stuttering and yeah it took forever and to get my points across and um, uh, again this is already almost seven minutes long yet again uh, thank you if you decided to uh, stick in uh, st uh, stay watching this video for uh, th this far um, I'm, I'm noticing I'm having a bit of trouble getting my words across but yeah basically no more fur sim no more yon sim furry ow uh, au everyone's gonna be a resident evil oc now uh, no more yon sim content on my channel because i don't support the developer anymore it took me this long because uh, a few years ago when i used to support him like die hard um, you know, a diehard fan. Uh, I, I myself was really immature, toxic, cringy, and yeah, just looked up to him, saw him as a friend, hoped he would change, hoped there was good deep down in his heart, and eventually, uh, like I said, a year ago, I decided to stop supporting him, and uh, I did some digging, some research. Uh, I always turned a blind eye to that at the at first, when I was still in my white knight era for him. But uh, when I stopped with that, when I stopped being a white knight, I uh, decided to uh, do some digging, some research, and you know it really made me think twice. And so I cancelled all my support for Yandev and just stuck around with the characters uh, because the characters are the, the thing that actually got me into Yansim. I really liked the characters and so that's kind of what made me stay as well and just made doing my own thing with them but um, yeah uh, now that uh, I'm 23 I've uh, matured a lot mentally, physically, uh, and especially mentally. And uh, I really opened my eyes to Jan Deridev, his true colors, and realized that, yo, oi, wake the heck up. There's actual victims here. And he isn't, he, he isn't this, this friendly sweetheart person there's manipulation going on here and your friendship was with him was probably also just manipulative and bs and stuff like that and yeah so a few days ago i really found the guts and courage to speak out i beat my fear thanks to a really close friend of mine who also spoke up so that gave me a lot of courage um and I basically spoke out against him everywhere I could imagine. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mastodon is the only place I haven't spoken out against him yet. Simply because I don't really use that much. Uh, I don't really feel like using that much uh, at the moment either. So yeah, I just don't really post or use that much. 
uh, use it that much so but when I ever do get to that point of using it again I absolutely will speak out against him there as well but I've spoken out against him on my furry sites uh, basically everywhere I can imagine uh, I beat that fear of uh, of you know being scared of them and him and just spoke out I stand with the victims and um, yeah uh, I just you know yeah so just want to let you guys know no more yawn sim from now on no more fur sim uh, Resident Evil uh, from now on OC's Resident Evil uh, I don't know if I'm gonna upload Killing Floor anymore at least not for the time being uh, I'm probably gonna go through some of my old videos and delete most of my gaming crap uh, I may leave up some Janssen videos, especially my skits and stuff. Stuff that I'm really proud of that has a lot of fan-made content, such as fan voices, uh, etc. Um, original ideas and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and then from now on, I'm gonna uh, just, you know, be a furry content creator. Uh, maybe upload some nature videos, animal videos, uh, plant videos maybe. Um, but yeah, Fury and Resident Evil is my main thing now. And I don't care how this will affect my channel. I know my main audience was always Yansim related and they were always here for Yansim mostly. Well, too bad, I'm sorry, but... I don't support Yandere Dev and will no longer be playing his game anymore. Uh, because, yeah, I don't want to. Um, and I think, personally, it's the right thing to do. Again, this is my decision. This is my personal opinion and my personal thoughts about the matter. And uh, it is my personal decision to no longer want to continue playing Yansim. And if that affects my channel negatively... If becoming a furry YouTuber and changing my name to or the dragon or whatever affects my channel negatively, then so be it. I honestly don't give a rat's red butt, if I may be so honest. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Um, again, uh, black screen, because, uh, yeah... Uh, no fursuit head because I didn't feel like that would be uh, I, I felt like that would just be cringe especially since it's not a furry related situation and I don't want to use Fananoi anymore uh, that character has been completely scrapped uh, gonna turn her into a full uh, Resident Evil Village OC without a human version just furry straight off the bat and yeah, I've been working on some of the rewrites of my characters, some name changes as well. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this because Resident Evil is my main interest and passion. Uh, this is quite a long video and it was basically just a black screen with my voice. And um, I appreciate it if you stuck this long uh, and watched it this long and made it all the way to the end. And uh, I appreciate it uh, for those who, you know, decide to stick with me and have the same ideas and thoughts as me. Because honestly, you really should think twice about supporting someone so very questionable and controversial as uh, Yandere Dev. That's just, seriously, if you decide to quit watching me because of this, or because Jansen was your main thing, or, you know, the re main reason why you subbed to me, then maybe rethink twice if that's really why you decide to unsubscribe and what that could, you know, what others could interpret that as because it doesn't really look good on you. You're, you know, supporting a, 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 yeah, a, a game made by a very, very controversial individual. I'm being careful with my words in this video for a reason because, you know, YouTube is very strict and stuff like that. And again, I've never made such a video, so... Um, but again, this is just my personal thoughts 
on the matter and what I think. Uh, again, you're totally allowed to think differently. If you want to continue playing Yon Sim, that's totally fine because, you know, I mean, you're not really supporting Dev by doing that. It's a free to download game. Uh, it becomes a problem once you actually, you know, support him financially or stuff along those lines. Or also, in my opinion, if you create, continue creating slash promoting the game by making videos, then it kind of becomes a problem. But that is my opinion, and I've seen this opinion before, and I appreciate coming across this opinion because, yeah, it really opened my eyes as well to have this opinion together with others who share the same opinion that I came across. So I know I'm not alone in this decision, but uh, I also want to say that uh, no hate towards you if you, you know, just continue deciding to play the game in private in your own home. Um, uh, and, you know, not promoting it in any way or su supporting it financially in any way. Uh, then, it, I, uh, then it's totally fine. Uh, but personally, uh, I just want to quit it all. And don't feel comfortable or want to move forward with the on sim uh, starting from today with this video. And um, again, if you decide to, you know, unsubscribe or, you know, stop watching me all because I'm canceling Yandere Simulator or I'm canceling my support for Yandere Dev. As I've, you know, seen plenty of white knights besides me and, you know, really questionable supporters and stuff like that. And, um, so I know people are like that are out there. And if they see someone who doesn't like him or doesn't support him, they'll defend him. Like I used to do a few years ago. And, uh, but, uh, they'll also, like. You know, uh, come after you sometimes, and yeah, just really attack you and stuff like that, or they unsubscribe to you, and um, yeah, just blindly defend him. And if you're one of those people, then basically what I wanted to say it is <coughs> maybe rethink twice about if you really want to continue supporting this dude. Because, um, yeah, there's plenty of evidence out there that shows that he's not a good person. And, uh, yeah. So, um, again, uh, sorry if this video was garbage. It's almost 20 minutes long. But, uh, first time ever making such a video. And I really just wanted to uh, share my thoughts. Uh, sorry if it took uh, a long time to get my points across. Again, I'm totally new to this, and um, yeah, if you have any questions for me as an ex Yon Sim fan or whatever, ex Yon Dev fan, whatever, uh, feel free to go ahead and ask. Absolutely, uh, I'm an open book in that case. Again, uh, sorry if I sound weird, my mouth is dry as heck, um, but yeah, feel free to ask me anything you want. Um, uh, if you want to, of course, because, uh, yeah, I want to make it known that I absolutely do not support him in whatsoever, in whatever way anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end, end this video because, like, I'm mumbling on my words and kind of losing track of what I want to say and kind of, like, stuttering and, yeah, um, again, sorry if this is crap. Uh, uh, it's unscripted first time again and yeah thanks if you took the time to listen to this uh, again go ahead and ask me any questions if you have any uh, for an ex Yon Sim slash Yon Dev fan if you want to so uh, yeah I'll probably go ahead and make a new channel trailer uh, sometime maybe next week or whenever I feel like it but yeah, I'll be um, changing my channel name and content.
basically. So, uh, thanks if you uh, took the time to sit and watch all the way through uh, and hear my thoughts. Even though this is unscripted and probably really crappy. But um, yeah, thanks. Until next time.